Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another All Access Geek News update. Today we're going to be talking about Jared Leto again, Ezra Miller again, and some things coming out of Disney Plus we weren't expecting. Also, Marvel Master Plan, a myth? Question mark? Mike Reed here today with All Access Geek, and we're going to get right into the news. But before we do, make sure you like and subscribe to follow us every Monday for when we drop the news about the week before, talking about all your favorite nerdy news and things you might not have even heard of. So go ahead, like, subscribe, follow. Our first story today concerns alleged asshole Ezra Miller. Turns out March 30th, according to sources, Warner Brothers executives got together and talked about his future at Warner Brothers. I'm sure that concerned The Flash, which was delayed. Fans online have been calling for Grant Gustin to take over the role after all of the accusations against Ezra Miller. You know, the one about him harassing a couple at a karaoke bar, then following them back to their hotel room, breaking in and stealing their passports? You know, that. According to sources in the room during the executive meeting, it has been agreed upon to halt all future Ezra Miller projects. It's also recently come out from a source on the set of The Flash that Ezra Miller had several mental breakdowns while on set. I don't know what's going on with Ezra Miller. I don't know what he's currently going through, but I hope he gets the help he needs. And maybe, just maybe, he needs to be taken out of the Flash franchise. Once again, I wonder what Grant Gustin's up to. It turns out that Robert Downey Jr. and HBO Max have decided to partner to create a Sherlock Holmes universe. That's right, there's going to be an HBO Max Sherlock Holmes universe. Now, there's very limited information. I don't know if it's going to be several different series focusing in the same universe where Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law played Sherlock Holmes and Watson. I don't know if it's just going to be one massive show or how things are going to work, but I am excited. Not sure if we need more Sherlock Holmes, but I'm happy to get it and I'm probably going to watch. I know you guys are all probably tired of talking about Jared Leto, but sucks to be you, we're going to talk about Jared Leto. That's right, alleged cult leader and child groomer Jared Leto is back in the news yet again because it turns out his method acting knows no bounds. He decided to stay in character the entire time he was on set using crutches and pretending to basically be disabled the entire time in hopes of staying in character. According to director Daniel Espino, it slowed down production quite a bit. That director is amazingly understanding. The next story is kind of a juicy spoiler. Costume designer Stacey Caballero accidentally let it slip that she not only designed costumes for Echo, but also for Daredevil and Kingpin. Now, the reason that this is a spoiler is because we weren't sure about the future of Daredevil in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It was always rumored that he might be in Echo. People weren't sure what happened to Kingpin at the end of the Hawkeye series. Did Echo kill him? Well, I think we can confirm that Kingpin survived and Daredevil is for sure gonna be in the Echo series. I'm excited to see more of the man without fear. Honestly, I wasn't a big Daredevil fan. Reading the comic books, always been more of a DC, but Charlie Cox's performance in the Netflix series won me over and I wanna see him do more work. And our top story tonight, Marvel Master Plan, Myth. That's right, co-director of Captain America the Winter Soldier, Captain American Civil War, Infinity War, and of course, in game, Joe Russo confirmed at the Sands International Film Festival in a panel that they basically make these up as they go in between films. Joe Russo is quoted as saying, so it's really about as the movie succeeded. Then there was sort of enthusiasm about, well, what else could we do? And then that's when new ideas come out, right? And there were hopes we hope one day can get to the story if we keep doing this right. Maybe we can all get there. You know, like Infinity War and Endgame, but a lot of stuff was made up in between the movies, right? I think those call forwards or call backs were thought of after the fact, right? Like we didn't have Civil War broken down and we didn't know that by showing you the scene with Zola as the Hydra villain in Winter Soldier and he's telling him about Winter Soldier and there's an image of Tony Stark's parents, right? He had them killed and it's implied that it's connected. That was happenstance. Then after the movie came out and we had to make Civil War, we were like, hey, that's a crazy idea. That's how Tony could get so angry at Cap that he'd want to kill him is if Cap's buddy had killed his parents. 
Now I'm sure this is gonna upset a lot of Marvel speculators and conspiracy theorists out there who believe in this grand Marvel master plan and take the littlest thing from any Marvel movie and explain how it's all connected to Mephisto. But unfortunately, it seems that they just kind of go with the flow and maybe that's the best thing. It makes the films more organic and the story kind of grow with its audience. Maybe we should just all stop trying to outthink the writers and just enjoy the ride. Anyway, once again, I was Mike Reed with All Access Geek. Thank you so much for tuning in Monday to catch the news with us. Tune in again next Monday for more news. Thanks again. Remember to like and subscribe. Later, y'all. Ooh. Mm.